y'all, this is Cheryl of Fiddle DD Designs. Today I'm here with a quick tip for you on duplicating elements to create fast and fun clusters. I'm going to start by using a kit by Bella Gypsy. It's called Let's Stay Home. It's really cute, full of flowers. But we'll, um, we're just going to be duplicating some of these elements uh, for some different fun looks. I'm going to start out with um, some greenery just to begin layering that around the edges. And I'm just pulling those onto the canvas. I'm going to add my leaf shadow. And I'm going to make a border with the leaves. That over a little bit more. Okay, so now we have our leaf border. And say we want to do that around the entire layout instead of having to pull these in each and every time, we can select all four of these um, leaves and actually duplicate them quickly. What you'll do is you'll need to make sure that you've selected um, the items. You can do that by clicking on them and then shift and clicking on, on your canvas so that it highlights everything in your layers panel or you can just as easily go to your layers panel, click on the bottom or the first layer you want to duplicate, um, and then select all the layers that you want duplicated, then press shift and click again and it selects them all. When you're ready to duplicate, you'll press the Alt key and actually come over to your canvas and click on all those layers and then begin to drag. Once you do that, you'll find that you have created a whole nother cluster and you can move it to another area of your layout. And we'll just do that um, again, as you can see, all these, uh, just these four, the last four that I duplicated are highlighted, but perhaps I want to highlight every single one of them. So I'll just come down to the bottom, again, shift click up to the top so it selects all of them, and then the Alt key and drag. And that begins allowing you to move your leaves around uh, as you would like them to show up. And you can, of course, make some minor adjustments if necessary. And we can do that one more time. And we can rotate that all the way around. So we're filling in these areas. And there you have it, a leaf border quickly created. Of course, if you want to add flowers on top of that, we'll just um, pick a few here that we can add. And we'll make sure that those are hanging out at the top at our shadows. Pull these out so you can see them a little bit better. I'm going to reduce the size a little bit. Okay. And then I can begin moving these. Of course, if you want to make your original cluster um, with the flowers included with the leaves and do that, or you can do it separately. It just depends on you want to do it, but you can begin building. And you can do them singly, one at a time, if you're not sure where you want to put them. And of course we can change where they are in the layers, so if you want some hiding behind You can have those hiding behind and then some above. So that 
and it's just going to be barely peeking. That's it. That's how to quickly and easily change um, a look of a page. Uh, it makes it look like you've spent a lot of time, but uh, Photoshop has allowed you to quickly uh, make a masterpiece. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tip.